It's not strong. Hey there. Hope you're having a good day. This is SNES Drunk. We're playing a new Let's Play thing, and it's Final Fight. This is the second game I ever owned for the Super Nintendo, going all the way back to 1991. Uh, we got it for Christmas, and um, got the Super Nintendo for Christmas, rather. And uh, obviously that came with Super Mario World. This was the other game we got. So, very, very familiar with this game. I know it's the... Arcade port. People think it's not as good as the arcade port. I don't really care. The big difference, obviously, is that it doesn't support multiplayer. It's a single-player game, and there's no guy in it either. It's just Cody and and Hagar. I love this part coming up here. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why. That makes me laugh. <laughs> what? Jessica was kidnapped? You interrupted my shower to tell me that? You son of a bitch. Alright, one quick trick I want to do here. You hold the L button on the controller when you press start, and you get the option mode, and you get to uh, stack up lives. Normally you start with 6. I'm going to up, up it to 9. Again, this is not a let's play. This is a... Or, I mean, this isn't a... This is a let's play. Let's. It's not a... Uh, a, uh, what do you call it? What am I trying to say? It's not a walkthrough. <laughs> Sorry. It's not a walkthrough, but I'm going to start with Cody. A, uh, and uh, the reason I'm picking Cody should be pretty obvious in a second. Because I am uh, playing this game on the ASCII pad. So I've got the turbo turned on. <laughs> Machine gun fists. You gotta love that. <laughs> anyway, the main appeal of this game to me has always been, it's not just nostalgia or whatever the hell, you know. It's, obviously, that's going to play a part of it, because I had this game since I was nine years old. But um, I love the sound of this game. <clears throat> the sound of somebody getting their ass kicked in this game is just so awesome and satisfying. It's, there's a deepness to it that's really, really good. There is a, uh, it just, it just sounds really nice. Like, if you're going to play a repetitive game like this, <coughs> do a flying knee there. <laughs> Such a goofy looking move. But yeah, it's, it's the sound of punching, the, the sound of destroying a big crate there. It's all really addicting in a way. And I, it's never gotten old for me. What I also, uh, what I want to try and do, what I want to try and do, I want to specify, it's, it's going to be hard to read and play this at the same time. <coughs> but uh, I've got the Super NES Nintendo Player's Guide. It has a lot of really funny information about this game. Uh, it has the enemies broken up into about like five or six categories. Oh, that guy didn't last long. Oh, I lost my knife. That was a total accident. Anyway, yeah, the, the what they do, what the guide does is it breaks down each enemy in the game. I don't know if bosses are in here or not. Yeah, they are. Um, <clears throat> it breaks them down by grade, and it grades them f from A through C. A being the best, obviously. C being the worst. And if you go right up here, you get a... Hey, who, who wouldn't want to eat, uh, what is this called? Let's pick it up here in a second. Ah, fuck you, Simons. J. Sid. Out of my way. What is this? Come on, I want to pick this thing up. Okay, it's barbecue. Who wouldn't want to pick up barbecue out of a stack of tires? Anyway, yeah, the first group here, and Jake, as you can see, and Bread. Hey, I got a free guy. Are part of the uh, slow movers. Actually, let's skip that because I'm on the boss now. This is Thrasher. He is called Damned in the arcade game. Damned is spelled D-A-M-N-D. -D. I don't know why he decided to say no to the extra E at the end. But yeah, you just jump out of the way. He starts cackling at you, you kick his ass. He's one of the easiest bosses ever. Especially since he stops to laugh at you. <coughs> Ooh, hey. Oh, that wasn't good. 
There we go. Got some damage on him there, and he jumps back on his little ledge. Whistles for help. This guy throws a Molotov cocktail at you and totally misses. Damn it. <laughs> Gotta love that. He just stops to laugh at you. Let's see if he'll do it again. In the meantime, you just grab him and knee him in the stomach three times. And you'll grab him and throw him into this freaking subway pole here. Eat shit, Thrasher. Anyway, now that I got some time here, Stage leader, Thrasher, this big bully has a gang of evil doers under his wing. After you send a few punches to Thrasher, he'll take a breather and call for his underlings. Get rid of the weaker villains as quickly as possible and... Tr yeah. Nothing... I just like the little... how they like phrasing stuff like that. Like, what's the strategy to this guy? It's like, well, you wait for him to laugh and then you beat the shit out of him, basically. Anyway, we are now underground in the subway. And I picked up... Yen. Aw, oh, nothing in that barrel? That's some bullshit. Yeah, the arcade game obviously has, um... Uh, I forget their names. It's Poison and something else. Uh, and they're women. And obviously, early 90s Nintendo is gonna frown at the prospect of hitting women. So they changed uh, Poison and... Ugh, I wish I could remember the other one's name. It's like Rain or something like that. Uh, to Billy and Sid, male punks. And we get our first uh, mini boss here, I guess. I don't know if he even qualifies as that. Is Andore Jr. His likeness is likely taken off of Andre the Giant with the kind of afro hair and uh, slow moving and larger size than the rest of the guys. Anyway, here we got, uh, yeah, here's, here's part of the slow moving group. We got two breads. We got Doug. <laughs> Doug saying no thanks to the U to the O in his name. It's like, nah, I'll just roll as Doug. D-U-G. But what it says about Bread is really sad. We won't see him again for a while, but I wanna, here we go. Bread is one of the first villains you'll meet in your fight to clean up the city. He's not only slow, he's weak too. Hit him three times and he'll go down. It's too bad all the hoods in Metro City don't drop like Bread. Like, God, what did that guy deserve to be... Fuck you, Jay. Why did that guy deserve all the... the brunt of cruelness from this guide? That's terrible. Alright, now we've got Andore, and he's one of the big brawlers in this game. And he's the older brother of Andore Jr. <laughs> it says, Andore is the heir to the Andore family fortune. What's their fortune based off of? Wallet chain? It's a hefty wallet chain there. Or is it Fred, purple Fred Flintstone tank tops? Give him some flying knee lifts to the head. All of those years of performing apparently helped the clan amass a sizable amount of dough. Oh, it actually tells you. Performing what? What are you talking about? doesn't say what perform. I don't want to know what performing is. It just occurred to me. Performing, quote-unquote. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, okay. I didn't read enough. This is cool. There's, like, backstory on some of these guys. I never even realized this. So, for Andore, we're going to see him again here in just a second. Just wait for slow-ass Simons here. And crack open these barrels. Andori's gonna come rushing in. Try to stab these guys in the face. Ooh, even better. All right, let's see if I can get to this. Okay, I got him pinned here. So legend has it that that the Andori family was once circus strongmen and in an Eastern European country, and they came to Metro City in Final Fight to escape the rigors of barbell lifting and muscle flexing. <laughs> Unfortunately, they fell in with the criminal element stateside and have now embarked on lives of crime. Oh, how tragic. That's funny. <laughs> so there's an actual story. They were part of a circus, and now they're, they're a family. 
Holy shit, I had no idea. I thought they were just a bunch of big Andre the Giant ripoffs. <clears throat> What's it say about Billy and Sid in here? Let's see if I can... Whoa! Get rid of these guys. Yeah, Elgato is the biggest prick in this game. He is really annoying. Tough to beat. Yeah, Billy and Sid. I want to check those guys out. These two fighters pay more attention to their hair and style and fashion sense than their fighting techniques. Okay. Oh, and, it, and there is a difference between Billy and Sid. It says that Billy is a little more powerful and that he concentrates a little more on his targets, while Sid's big move is to do that big somersault thing you just saw. Interesting. I, did, I never realized they put this much thought into this game. See, this is one reason I do these Let's Plays. So I can learn about the game, too. I don't even care about you audience. You guys... Nah, just kidding. All right, now here's the leader of this stage. It is Katana. Just walk underneath him. Ooh. Sometimes he'll charge you, but you want to do the same thing. Grab him. Three knees to the gut. Eventually, yeah, eventually, there's no avoiding that unless you time your jump absolutely perfectly. I don't even bother. I've got nine guys here. Let's take his sword here. Kick his ass that way. Nope, not going to work. Come on. Oh, damn it. Almost got him here. Just grab him like that. Okay, it says about Katana, who's actually named Sodom in the arcade game. The leader of the subway sector likes to put on a good show. After you knock him down, he'll charge with both swords. Blah, blah, blah. Guess he's a performer, too. Here we go. We're gonna smash a car with our bare hands. <laughs> I'd like to see somebody try this in real life. Just punch a car a hundred times. In, in less than 20 seconds. And this is going to be it for this episode of SNES Drunk Plays Final Fight. I will leave you with the poignant words of bread. Oh my god. Oh.